Hi, this is Anne. In this video, I'm going to share with you scalping strategy based on market structure and price action. So what I'm going to show it to you is the simple scalping strategy without any indicator or anything, just purely based on time frame to avoid over trade so you can decide whatever time frame you want and based on its uh, market structure. So yesterday I shared with you, I created a video related to uh, market structure. I will give you a quick overview okay so here is in a downtrend so I said if there every time the market breaks below there is a probability the market to go lower okay breaks below and every time the price breaks above there is a higher probability the price to go higher right break above going higher break below going lower now keep that in mind now, when it comes to uh, scalping, a lot of us uh, usually have different kind of uh, rules. For example, it has to do it in uh, during London session or maybe New York session, whatever. But what I'm going to show it to you, it does not uh, based on the market session, but it is based on the time frame. Okay, so but y you can do. Uh, you know you can do it also based on the uh, market session combine it with the market session I mean so let's begin I'm gonna show it to you here based on the market structure but per candle as you know that when it comes to uh, a market like for example here on daily candle one daily candle contained like so many candle right this is daily here I always put a period separator between here and here this is uh, uh, one day so as you can imagine one candle can give you a lot of uh, market structure uh, whether it is uh, minor and also main structure within lower time frame but let's forget about that because we are not talking about main structure or minor structure but I just want to show it to you based on the candle okay now here if I say uh, this one okay let, let's just focus on here let's say starting from this candle and then the next candle is lower why because this is breaks below okay so and here the next candle is also lower than this regardless the week or the color to me sometimes it's also uh, regardless the color it doesn't matter but there are a time where the can when when the, the next candle close lower okay so basically let's say you go to h4 okay you go to h4 and then this candle closed so the next candle the beginning of this candle the beginning of this candle because you know the last candle close lower than the previous candle so there is a probability the market to go lower does that make sense okay now here for example starting uh, from here you see it, it is not always working obviously but you will see most of the time when it breaks above the price goes higher when it breaks below the price goes lower but instead of in a big market structure we are doing it per candle okay and it is uh, I, I personally like to do it based on daily okay because I'm a day trader and also a swing trader but if you want to do uh, scalping then you can start it from h4 or h1 i don't know i never really tried but some people also tried it based on m15 whatever time frame you choose i choose h4 so that you do not have to sit down in front of the computer every hour you know or all the time so you just come back every four hour to see where the market goes okay but don't blindly to just seeing like only uh, for example let's say uh, this is just an example okay let's say you only focus around this area there uh, you also uh, I would suggest you to also take a look at the big picture of 
this H4 time frame market structure. Let's say, for example, by a glimpse, when you see it in a glimpse, it is uh, the market is, for example, in an uptrend. So probably you want to focus only when the when the candle is breaks above something like that. So here is already breaks higher, you see, and here breaks higher. So the moment, for example, uh, here you know the big picture of the market is uh, going up, and then you wait for one candle to uh, to breaks above like this, okay, then this from this candle when this candle start you want to looking for buy why because the uh, the what is it the previous candle closed higher even though not with the body but there are a part of the previous candle close higher than the previous one does that make sense okay so based on that rule uh, we will go uh, you go to a lower time frame then you can sculpt it uh, let's start again from here, okay? Here. Let's start from this one. Okay, this one is breaks below. So basically from this candle, you can, uh, you can start looking for sell opportunity at this candle. And then here is also breaks uh, lower, okay, in terms of some part of the candle. So at this candle, you can also start looking for sale now let's just stop over there and let's see uh, what time is that i don't know so if we start here this is based on four hour this is 4 a.m 4 a.m i wouldn't i wouldn't trade at 4 a.m okay so maybe i will start from here this is eight oh this is exactly this candle is exactly as a london session okay so you can you can st like i said you can also start if you want to looking for uh uh, trading based on the market session then you can basically just look how the previous candle uh, is it breaks below lower or higher than the next candle is uh, selling so let's just see for example we know that the previous candle is close lower right over here and then so you want to start within this candle the moment this candle start so let's mark this because that is where we want to start uh, our trading for example at 8 in the morning it's up to you whichever time frame you want I usually go to M15 and the lowest M5 but you can also go to M1 if you want let's just go to M15 first over here so here is the beginning of the new candle for our so what you can do is that you can look left and then looking for the order block. If you are if you are new to the order block, you just go to the main channel and there is a free course on how to trade the order block. Okay, so here is the first order block. You see, it didn't work and it didn't hit, so it's okay. But at least you are following the trend that you know that the previous can candle, which is this one, it could be like the week, right? From the previous uh, H4, this could be the week. Now this is our starting point. So maybe you will go, if you suspect that this could be an order block, for example, if you look based per one candle, well, this is not really ideal, you know, but you can do that also, uh, uh, what is it? Maybe from M5, let's, let's check it on M5. Ah, you see, this could be an order block like if you want to consider this as the break of structure or uh, yeah wherever maybe on m1 it's it's really up to you but that that's the whole idea is you want to trade based on uh the previous candle breaks below or breaks up uh, sorry close below or uh, breaks below or breaks above and then so you want to follow that direction in this case let's say i will do on m15 okay so this one I, I didn't hit I don't have any trade then you don't have any trade that's it now if I keep continue following from this moment and let's say okay there is nothing here so I will just make this uh, let's remove that oh no I do not want to remove this so we know this is our starting point maybe just let's just give it with that okay 
so this candle is our starting point so we started in here maybe are you gonna make this as the order block like this one or if you consider this as the break of structure so here is our order block right this is our order block so i usually put the 50 percent of the order block so maybe my guess is that if uh, this is a daily low you can aim just daily low or if the daily low is broken you can aim the daily Fibonacci uh, 27 I'm gonna make another video for uh, this uh, daily low uh, I use this Fibonacci when I trade ABCD but that is another uh, topic so for now is that uh, you can download this in the community website uh, this uh, indicator so now here for example this eight eight o'clock in the morning okay and then this one it did not hit but also there is a possibility this become uh, our order block so I will take a chance I will take a chance and then so here is uh, my order block and then it hit if I aim for example the daily low okay this is previous daily low so I would make a uh, 6R and then if I aim uh, here the Fibonacci 27 I would make like 1 to 10 I guess yeah let's go it's a little bit more than 1 to 10 but consider it like 1 to 10 okay like uh, basically if it breaks this uh, daily Fibonacci it can goes to a hundred uh, sorry yeah minus 61.8 Fibonacci so that is how you want uh, to do scalping I'm, I'm just showing it to you on M15 because that is what I do I usually trade on M15 imagine if you traded on M1 okay so you can go on M15 oh let me just remove that first sorry hold on a second so you're not confused okay there we have this is the starting point I barely trade I don't trade actually on M1 last time I traded and it just give me I feel like really uncomfortable it's too fast uh, where is it okay here you go you see this is like I would feel a little bit confused with this so when I do this on on M1 you can either look left or you can probably just wait what you call it like a chalk for example like here this is breaks above and this is breaks below so this one it didn't hit or if you make this as you auto block you probably hit a uh, stop loss but you know the idea right so here this is your take profit target and probably you will get this one as your order block because this does this one does not hit all right this one it doesn't hit so here probably this one will be hit but it hit a stop loss first does it hit a stop loss well it depends uh here is 1.6 pips maybe you want to make it like become two pips so if you put it two pips so you will be good you see let's see how many is that if you aim daily low yeah almost about 15 r but i'm not sure even if i trade it on m1 to me 1 to 10 is already massive you know some people who already know the market direction like this like what i'm showing it to you they could aim like 1 to 20 1 to 40 if they know that for example they they trade based on the market direction on a higher time frame okay so if you do not have a lot of time so you can also do that on daily and that's sometimes like uh, what i'm doing but that means sometimes uh you know for people who are like me in egypt in europe that uh entry point could could happen within midnight during asia session like for example let's go to daily here okay look if the daily breaks above like uh, let me just use this for example here uh let's take a look from here here the previous 
is breaks above so the next one you only want to looking for buy but sometimes you will find something like this as well look it doesn't breaks higher than the previous one it doesn't matter like i said sometimes it doesn't work but there is always a higher probability when the market breaks below okay in this case when a candle breaks below there is a higher probability that the mar that there is a chance for you to sell like uh you you try and you need to search you can back test it for several or you know um like uh, because there are a lot of candle like especially in uh daily or h4 you can also do it on h1 if you want so every hour if you are directly on m1 i don't know how how it will work because i don't trade on m1 but that is the idea if you want to do scalping based on the time frame and based on the market structure if the previous is breaks above let's say like this okay so here over there let's see this probably not working but the next day is working is going up so let's go to m15 because if you want to trade it on m1 obviously you do not want to use uh you know break of structure candle break from a uh, daily okay so let's see where is that okay here you see that this is the period separator so i supposed to looking for buy right uh, uh at the next day and which is here on m15 so it could go several uh, way look at that if i look left maybe i will take here as my order block it didn't work or also take here look hold on sometimes what i did if i believe that there will be a little retracement and then going up so i would make this as my order block and in this case what i do i would put a 50 percent okay and then if it hit a stop loss what i do i just uh re-enter and i give like uh let's say three times maximum so maybe if i use this strategy okay if i use this strategy and then take a look how many losers i have and because i i use this uh this tool we have the tool that is uh, that has the future to re-enter if our pending order hit a stop loss so it hit here one two three i may not make it because so three times so i may lose like uh, 0.75 percent over here before it's working you know but maybe uh you know so this is like a part of trading and here it it goes higher now, now let's take a look because we know the previous one over here right look this is this is goes higher because from the previous candle based on daily let's take a look again still based on the same candle right and now the next day if if uh the previous one it doesn't it doesn't go higher or lower you just take it from the previous one that's usually uh happen like that okay if it is like inside candle so the previous one is just usually you can either make it as a new one so this one is uh breaks above so you started buy from here or you just can continue looking for buy because the previous two candle was closed higher so when we go to m15 and then i had a losing day for example on the previous day and let's see for the next day over here so when i look left this is my auto block if i want to look left okay or if we have time then we can just wait for the next breaks above okay so this is my order block it didn't hit and here this one is finally hit so there you go this order block is hit but that way like i said this is happened like uh what time is that this is eight yeah th this is like a london session so it happened you can find this so there are several ways you want to do this either you want to take a look based on daily okay based on daily candle is it breaks below or breaks above and then so you want to take a look uh take a look into lower time frame and that is the direction of your trade so you can also do it based on m15 but i think it will be like really too fast let's just see here here let's see there right it is uh close higher right this candle so meaning in the next 15 minutes 
over here this start of 15 minutes you only want to buy but let's see if there is one or not yeah there is look at that here this one is your auto block this one because you do it based per candle right so this is your auto block and if I take it or oh, this is 1.7 so I may just take it like this so this is already one to three and yeah so you can try it's up to you you want to do a uh, candle breaks based on m15 and run it on m1 m30 M m1 this way you will you will not over trade or waiting with too many rules that sometimes doesn't make any sense at least to me okay so you have you have to wait too many rules until instead of you do scalping which is supposed to be fast and then you sit down the whole day and you got nothing or uh, i mean you got nothing because it doesn't meet the rules and or you you trade or you become over trade but if you use a time frame a time frame based so at least you know when you can trade okay this time i have i i have a time to trade or maybe you just do it uh, uh on h1 okay this one is for example this is closed above uh kathy i'm working oh, okay i'm sorry my cat uh so here for example this is breaks above so the next candle over here you can start looking for buy and then here also it breaks above so the next candle here you want to start looking for buy so you can try it is not always working but again the minimum you want to aim uh do your best to aim just one to five maybe minimum probably one to three but i always aim one to five above one to five to one to ten okay so as you see that sometimes the auto block when you look left it doesn't work you know but also sometimes uh it works right away but by doing this it can be easily done when you when you do it with the bigger market structure and like this for example based on h1 okay the trend is going up so maybe i will just looking for breaks above on h1 and then i will focus just buy or maybe if you understand if you already advanced uh you already know how to uh read the market structure every time there is breaks below in the retracement you also has a probability to sell to get sell here it's is i'm not saying that it's easy but if you truly understand you know when it comes to trading the king in the trading uh the king of knowledge in the trading is to understand the market structure okay so this is just a a, a trick or tips for you if you want to to know like where the probability where the market could go with a higher probability uh based on the direction of where the candle break out okay base per candle i mean okay i guess that is all so we can uh, we can try this and then so anyone can share this based on daily h4 every every uh, time frame so you can tell okay this is based on h1 candle break this is based on h4 so people do not confuse and you can share it in the uh you can you can share it in the uh in the discussion group and we will see and help each other all right that's it thank you for watching bye bye